why in heaven's name would we move to this completely different type of Medicaid system? I am baffled by this. Until my crack staffer found this, Mr. President. It's called the Patriot's Toolbox, published by the Heartland Institute. Well, when I started to read this, lo and behold, I read all about how Medicaid ought to be changed. I read all about how part of the Patriot's Toolbox put out by the Heartland Institute is to say that states should develop health savings accounts for the poor. I also read that states should implement drug testing for able-bodied people. I also read that folks should be able to have a voucher for Medicare, that we should have health savings accounts for Medicare, that the younger workers should opt out of Medicare, and that doctors who provide care to patients should opt out on a, on a service basis. What the heck does that mean? And here, lo and behold, in the Patriots' hand box on page 24, is the direct payment option. The direct payment option removes health care from the insurance regulations. It says states should pass legislation saying direct primary care is not a form of insurance. The Patriots Handbook says states can integrate direct primary care into their Medicaid system. Oh my. I'm thinking that this is kind of serious now. They want to change the regulation of pharmaceuticals and get rid of the approval process of the Food and Drug Administration and allow a dual track where doctors and their patients can use unapproved drugs. There's something seriously wrong, not only with this bill, Mr. President, but with the influence of the Patriots Handbook and the Heartland Institute on the Wisconsin legislature.